Welcome back to my channel. Today, I'd like to introduce the sustainable and economical city of Edo. The Edo period, also known as the Samurai period, was 265 years from 1603 to 1867. The population of the Edo area, which is now Tokyo, was estimated to be about 1 to 1.25 million people. At that time, it was the largest city in the world. During the other period, Japan wasn't invaded and was isolated from foreign countries. Because of this, it was a very peaceful time when the Japanese economy and culture developed uniquely. So why did the Edo period become sustainable? In Japan, there are very few fossil fuels like petroleum. On top of that, because of the isolation, we had to cover everything with domestic energy and resources. So, everything was treated as a valuable resource. Even things that are treated like nuisance nowadays, like ashes. Almost everything continued to be used without waste. In other words, it was an era of developing a wonderful culture that could be sustained with almost no energy. In the Edo period, there are many recyclers. For example, second-hand clothing store. Until the Edo period, all cloth was hand-woven, so it was a valuable, high-class item. It is said that there were 4,000 second-hand clothing dealers in the city of Edo. Waste paper buyers and waste paper collectors. Used paper buyers were people who would buy uh, unwasted paper, like used paper, Waste paper collectors would collect waste paper on the roadside and sell it to a used paper wholesaler. Ash buyers. When you burn firewood, it produces ash. Ash buyers collected this ash and sold it to farming villages as fertilizers. Excrement collector. Surprisingly, excrement was the most important fertilizer in farming villages until around 1955. I heard that in Europe, when there was no switch system, excrement was thrown out of the window. So plagues of infectious diseases were common because the hygiene was poor. However, in Japan, for better or for worse, it's treated as a valuable resource. For the landlord with many tenants, the excrement was a good source of income. In addition, it is said that they used it for growing fine of tea after identifying which areas had good enough excrement. In addition to recyclers, there are also many repairers. For example, ceramics repair craftsmen, shoes repair craftsmen, and lantern replacement craftsmen. People in the other period treated things carefully. There was a school called Terakoya for children of commoners. The textbooks used there were not the property of the children, but the equipment of the school. So, there is a record that one arithmetic textbook was used for 109 years. Don't you think it's amazing? Japan in the Edo period developed its culture and maintained its economy by using all its resources. So, it can be a great model of a recycling-oriented society. One of my dreams is to go back to the Edo period in Japan. This is because I think we live in a mass-produced and consumer-based society and can learn a lot from the sustainable and economical city of Edo. So if you like this kind of video, please give it a thumbs up and please subscribe to the channel. So I hope to see you in the next video. Bye-bye.